my name is Michael DeLand. I'm the Director of College Relations here at Clear Creek Baptist Bible College. And once again, we are here doing a spotlight on the classes that we have here at Clear Creek. And with me today, I'm delighted to have Dr. Matthew Dix, who is the, the head of our music department. And I want to turn it over to him and let him share uh, some of the things that he's doing with our music department. It's historic. Uh, it's exciting because our, our music department is thriving right now. Uh, and, and it's due to, in great part, to what this fella right here is doing, my friend. So, Matthew, if you would. I appreciate that, Michael. And all glory to God for that. Yes. Um, as you guys know, I may have shared in other videos or things you've seen. You know, God called me here about three years ago after the worship and music department kind of went through a little bit of a hiatus period. And I've just been honored to be used by God here to help others improve their skills in not only musical worship, but worship in all forms. And so um, just real quick, I want to give you a few snippets of the courses that I teach. Um, these are all elective courses. And so uh, as I go through each one, just remember, um, if one scares you, it doesn't mean you have to take it, uh, but uh, I'd love for you to take all of them if you'd want to. So the first and most important one um, that I believe everyone should take is an introduction to worship. Um, that course is a very, very, um, let's say if you're flying over the ocean, you don't make any pit stops, you just keep going. That's what introduction to worship is. We hit on almost every single item on the rest of the classes you're going to hear in that class. So from mm -hmm. worship leading to worship history to worship technology, um, everything is hit in that class, but very rapidly. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why I like that one, because it really gives you a snapshot of what worship is, both musically and non-musically. Um, so that's what Introduction to Worship is. I would love for you to be in that one. Then we also have our uh, most popular class, which wonder why, especially with COVID going on. Um, our most popular class right now is Technology and Ministry. Um, yes. I think all of us got hit with a blind curve, even sure myself, um, when COVID hit. And so in that class, we literally look at everything from lighting to audio to sound, um, all the various technologies, even bulletins. Um, planning center software, um, organizational things, anything that can be used as technology in your worship ministries, um, and even goes outside of just musical worship. We go into planning staff meetings, things like that, um, all the technologies we can use today. So live streaming, all of that's addressed. Um, we don't go, once again, in deep detail, but uh, it's one where you get the sources you need and the links you need to things to give you the information you might be looking for. And we even have guest professors come in. I know we have Eric Green, our tech director here at Clear Creek. He comes in and does a few lectures that go in depth on a lot of audio and visual stuff. So um, make sure if you're interested in technology, take that one. Then we also have our worship team which you guys see each week in chapel. So this is going to be a little different because now we also have, in conjunction with the worship team, the Clear Creek Singers. So the way that this is going to work in the future is our worship team consists of the instrumentalists mm -hmm. and the praise team singers that hold microphones, where the Clear Creek Singers is going to be our permanent choir that once COVID's over, praise the Lord, <laughs> we're going to um, be able to have all of them up there like you may have saw a few weeks ago in chapel. And so they'll always be up there singing. So if you're a little timid about singing on a microphone, but you, you're comfortable singing in a group, Clear Creek Singers is going to be for you. But if you feel called by God and you're gifted musically and you want to share in your instrumental capabilities or vocal capabilities, that's what worship team's for. And you may notice there's a one and a two. That's just to differentiate the freshmen from the upperclassmen so we know who to schedule when. So that's all that is. Um, but we would love for you to help us lead worship in chapel if God's calling you to do that. Great experience yes. for your future ministries. And then we have um, musicianship, which that's not really a class to, uh, for the faint of heart. So that's one that if you really want to get into music, um, we start from the basic of basics. So if you just want to know the basic of music, I'd say take uh, musicianship one. But after that, every year you take it, we get further and further down that rabbit hole, if you will, of music. And uh, it really does focus on music theory and ear training. And we go very, very in-depth to finally where you get to the ending point, um, which is around like musicianship six, if you're here long enough, which is arranging, how to arrange music. We need some godly arrangers yes. in our churches today that have solid theological songs. Mm -hmm. And then we also have um, our music and missions course, or mm -hmm. as you may have heard it around, it's called ethnomusicology, the study of music and missions. And so if you're called to go to the mission field, whether it's across the street or around the world, you need to know what culture you're going into and how that's going to impact the music that you're going to lead. You know, it looks a lot different in Africa than it does in Asia, a lot different in Asia than it does in America. So we look through all the different cultures in that class. Um, we also offer private lessons in both piano, voice, um, guitar, um, strings. 
And so if you're gifted of God and want to increase those capabilities, um, we offer that where you can sign up for a lesson once a week for about 30 minutes so it doesn't take a lot of your schedule. And we just develop what God's gifted you with. Wherever you are, we start there and we move forward. So some may be at the very beginning, others may be advanced. But mm -hmm. uh, wherever you are, that's why we offer in that private lesson format. Um, then we also have um, the most practical course here for worship and music, which is worship leading, or leading worship, I should say. In that course, you literally get the tools that it takes to lead worship. And I walk you through how I've done it in all of the churches I've been in and also here at Clear Creek. And so you get a very wide range from traditional church to contemporary church and everything in between, and even students from here at Clear Creek. Um, you find out all the methods, tools, tricks of the trades, if you will, from preparing for worship to leading worship practice and to actually getting up there and leading a worship service. Mm -hmm. So that course is, uh, that's why I usually say juniors and seniors, I want to take that one, because you've had time to go through the others. And then, um, the newest one that we're just getting approved and getting off the ground this coming uh, spring is called hymnology or the study of hymns. Um, but it's so much more than that. Um, and this is why I'm excited about this I'm class. excited about that. <laughs> because we do go into depth, which I love, the hymn stories. If you've never read the hymn stories, get the Then Sings My Soul um, book collection. Great book. That is a great book. It goes through all the hymns with their stories. No, not all of them, but most of them. Mm -hmm. But anyway... Um, in that class, we're going to look at the hymns and the theology that's in those hymns. And then, after that, we're also going to look at the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're going to look at more modern Christian music. Because Scripture tells us to sing what? Psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. So in that class, we are literally studying the theology of all the different types of songs. So we have the emphasis on the hymns as our guide and our point of reference. And then we look at the rest of the songs. So that's going to be a really fun course. And I can't wait to get that off the ground. Yes. And then finally, um, worship history. I hope I haven't bored you too much on that one. But worship history, I'll tell you what, that is a doozy. We literally go from the book of Genesis all the way to modern day and Revelation. Mm -hmm. So you cover the whole Bible. You cover all the revivals. You cover all the musical genres um, all the way up to present day. And it's not just musical worship. Um, you get more in the music on the church side of things. Mm -hmm. But in the Old Testament and the scriptures, we're going to look at all the biblical forms of worship and those parameters that God has given us for worship. Because we all have preferences when it comes to worship and music. But the Bible clearly spells out what we should follow and how we should do things. And so where is that list? What is it? So that's what we do in that class. We go through history and we look at what God has already done in anticipation of what he's going to do because as we know, God's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And so with that knowledge, it's just a great trip through memory lane history-wise to prepare us for where we are in our ministries today. So with that, um, I hope I didn't forget any. I think I hit them all. But if you have any questions about our music or worship courses, please let me know. And just thank you guys so much for this opportunity to share with you. So thanks, Matthew. I appreciate that. So as you can hear, we have a vast category when it comes to our music department now, something we've prayed for for a long time, and we're grateful that we have this now. Uh, it's very exciting. It's exciting for me. As a, as a director of college relations, Matthew, one of the things that I get um, quite often are calls from churches within the state, uh, also outside of state as well, people who are looking for worship leaders. Yep. Uh, and this is one way that Clear Creek is serving our churches by raising that that, uh, that that next class of worship leaders. We're bringing them through the pipeline. And so you'll start to see those graduate through Clear Creek. And in fact, we've already got one, Shama, who That's is right. serving as a, a worship pastor, Red House Baptist Church. Yep. Uh, so we're starting to feed that into the churches now. And that's pretty exciting. All these classes that, that we have, uh, how much of this is available online as well? As of right now, um, everything that you've heard is available online except for our private lessons and, of course, the worship team and Clear Creek Singers. Um, everything else you can take online, um, and uh, hopefully, eventually, um, we had to do it due to COVID. We were able to get some lessons last semester online out of necessity, so we're going to be exploring that in the future to try to get those private lessons to you guys. But um, outside of the private lessons and Clear Creek Singers and the worship team, Every other course you heard today is available online for you to take whenever you feel led. And then there is a differentiation. Some are only offered in the fall. Some are only offered in the spring. But they're always recurring. So if you miss one one year, don't worry. It's going to come right back around the next year. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you will get a chance to take these courses if you want to take those. 
Uh, and so if you are called to worship ministry, I would encourage you to uh, take some time and look into this, give the school a call, uh, and uh, be a part of this incredible uh, thing that we're seeing here at Clear Creek Baptist Bible College. Matthew, I want to thank you so much thank for, you, for giving us just a few moments of your time. You're a busy man. Uh, <laughs> just a little. <laughs> yeah, that, that's good, though. That's a good that's busy, right, isn't that's it? Right. Uh, and so we're going to end the video with that, and we'll just say good day to you.